hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of uni of ife uh, information reaching us right now is that allegedly because i will always remind you that there are all alleged information that Olo Mariam sent a threatening message to Deji of Akure concerning Queen Naomi's return to the palace. According to what we are hearing, they said Mariam have told uh, Deji of Akure in her message allegedly to warn Queen Naomi to stay off uh, Oni of Ife. That she have gone to Instagram to divorce Oni of Ife. That no one forced her out of the marriage and out of the palace that she know exactly what she have invested in that marriage that is uh, mariam according to mariam that she have invested a lot in that marriage and now the king is making it a mandatory that all of them should leave the palace for queen Naomi to return back to the palace that that is going to be over her by body that she never she's never going to do a thing like that that the reason why she is sending that uh a message to Deji of Akure is because she understands very well the politics that they are pl uh, playing. That she knows very well that uh, he is in support of Finomi returning back to uh, to the palace. And he is also in support of the idea that the king should send all of them out of the palace for Finomi to return. The same Finomi who have went to, uh, who have gone to uh, Instagram to divorce the king. But I want to know certain here. You see, Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi is not even uh, dragging the palace or new of Ife with any of these oloris. That is one thing they have failed to understand. That the case is that KBAC is the one going after Queen Naomi. And the one thing I love so much about Queen Naomi is that she understands her words so clearly. You know? She have made it clear to the king that she is never, never going to come back to that palace while the women are there. And we do know that. And now it has been a case of you either choose to stay with the women or you send them away and I will come back. And the king have chosen to send the women away so that uh, Queen Naomi will return back to the palace. Let me tell you, Queen Naomi is not dragging position with these people. They see Queen Naomi as their most driver, but they don't know that Queen Naomi is bigger than that, you know. Recall that the kings uh, have bought a house in Canada and asked Queen Naomi to relocate there, and she declined. There was a time she also uh, begged her to go and stay in, her, in his house uh, in Abuja, the same one that actually went to, uh, wanted to go and claim. But Queen Naomi declined. That is because she know how what. She's not dragging that man with any of them. They are just making noise. And Kenomi was just doing her thing quietly. And there is this uh, revelation some time ago. Where the oldest women in the palace said that. There is something. Something. About the king uh, persisting. That Kenomi returns back to the palace. That the king have done something. That he is not supposed to do. That is nailing for Queen Naomi. Something he have never done for any of these Oloris. And it is against their tradition. That if the two of them should separate. And another man marries Queen Naomi. That the king might die. You know. And who in his right senses. Will know all of these things. And choose to. Uh, choose those who will not give him peace of mind. Apart from all these things. That, uh, that we have mentioned so far. One thing again is that you see the love that is between Queen Naomi and Oni of Ife. It is something that Juju cannot stop. Let me tell you. You see all these women, they have done everything, both spiritually and physically. There was a time they have even paid bloggers to come and uh, tarnish Queen Naomi's image in the, uh, on social media. They have gone to Babalao. They, there is nothing... They have said bad things against Queen Naomi, yet all those things did not work out for them. Let me tell you, if if they can handle it spiritually, they wouldn't even come out to make people believe that, uh, or let people know that they are fighting Queen Naomi. They would have handled everything spiritually, but they forget that Queen Naomi is more spiritual than all of them, because Queen Naomi is a spiritual being. She's a daughter of Zion. 
a prophetess. And I believe God spoke, uh, speaks to her. So whatever they are planning, God is the supreme being. God is powerful than all the babalawos joined together that are working for them. I believe God will always reveal to Gwenomi and tell her the next step to take. She is just quiet and God is fighting her battle. And all these women, they are just running helter skelter, looking for who to complain to, who to do this thing and do that. But anyway, some of them are cooperating, you know, because from what we are hearing, uh, Temitokwe have gotten a house. Uh, we heard also that the king have also bought a, a house for Toby. But along the line, we also heard that uh, the sisters to the king said that it was all false, that it is not uh, true, that the king did not buy any house for Toby, that that of uh, Temitokwe was uh, what Temitokwe started, that the king helped her to finish it. So we don't know which one to believe or which one not to believe. They say Ronke, who have been making effort to say that she stays in the palace, that finally, that the king have made it clear to all of them that, look, oh, I am the one marrying you. You are not the one marrying me. And if you cannot abide by my rules, I am ready to accept back the bright price I paid on your head. That is not too difficult to understand. He is the king. He is the onirisha. He take, he make decisions, not the other way around. And he's never going to fold his arms and allow all these women who doesn't give him peace of mind ruin the opportunity of bringing in the, uh, the one person that will always give him peace of mind. You know, he has made a lot of mistakes by marrying all of these women, but he's never going to buy in that mistake. Now that he has realized his mistake and ready to make amends, I'm sure he's never going to give these women the opportunity to ruin this second chance that God has given to him because it is a second chance for the two of them. And if the king messes up this time around, the Benami will surely leave him. But that is not our prayer. So they said uh, Mariam have won the Geofakure to warn Queen Naomi to stay off from the king that she have denounced the king on social media. And it is going to remain like that. That she's never going to fold her arms and watch her take away the king away from them again. From her again that Onirisha is her husband. And nobody can change that. <laughs> her, uh, the king is her husband though. But the king is busy looking, uh, going for the one after his heart. Hey, this marriage with the king and the uh, queen um, and uh, Mariam, I believe is a contract marriage. Yes, it is. Uh, Ma uh, Mariam wanted the king to marry her. The king have married her, and she have paid the price. So the king will not, uh, uh, will I say, forget about her, his love life, or use his love life to pay for the marriage he had with Mariam and the rest of them. He will always go after the one who pleases her, her his height, his. Uh, Heart, which is Queen Naomi, and Queen Naomi is not even making noise, and they were busy running helter skelter. They say at the moment that they are busy running helter skelter, crying, looking for who to help out in a situation like this. But they are very late at it because the king have made his decision, and his decision is going to be final and not that of Mariam. So, guys, now so we hear them. Don't forget that they are all alleged information because we do not live in the palace. Always bear that in mind. They are all gathered on social media and shared with you. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are the only subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Give this video a thumbs up and share it. My God will bless you. Bye for now. Love you guys.